I probably would say the main challenge was that I came to the realization that uh, uh, for these kind of difficult environments, breeding by itself may not be the, the answer, the only answer, because a lot of the farmers were, uh, were not using any inputs, and so they were growing traditional varieties with no, using no fertilizer and uh, getting extremely low yields. Uh, the crop was highly variable. And so uh, I really had a question about how much impact you can have just by coming up with a higher yielding variety. Uh, my, my initial uh, emphasis was to try to, to get a stress toner variety which has uh, high yield characteristics like the semi-dwarfs that became popular during the Green Revolution. And uh, I always had this question in my mind as to whether uh, the farmers would really go for that considering that they had such poor management and um, such difficult environments, uh, very poor soils, uh, many constraints. So I think uh, that was one of the challenges was, was to how, to how to deal with that problem, um, especially during a time when there, there wasn't really a focused program uh, that dealt with the unfavorable environments uh, that involved all the disciplines. It was, you know, it was basically I was working as a breeder um, without too much support by, by other scientists, although there were physiologists working on um, stress tolerance and so forth. So that was a big challenge. And then a second challenge, I think, was um, later on, uh, when we started getting this, the new tools of uh, genetics, molecular genetics, how to um, apply those tools in a practical way. I, I was one of the first people to work really uh, in more in depth on genetic mapping using molecular markers, and I did a lot of work on that. But I kept getting the question, okay, so how do you use that? You know, what good is it to the breeders? And uh, it was actually a bit difficult, you know, to answer that because we didn't have any, many good examples where that had paid off in, in breeding, especially in the early stages.